is Zulu time. Hey, and why do we need to know what it is? Let's talk about that thing. Boom! As a pilot, whenever you reference time, more than likely it will be in Zulu time. And it's done that way for a very special reason. When you think about it, you got pilots flying and swinging and banging that thing all over the world in various time zones. It can get very confusing if everyone was just to use their local time of the time zone that they're in. So what is the appropriate solution? The appropriate solution is to have everyone who's sitting in the cockpit flying that thing to use universal time. Zulu time, baby! Let's talk about what that thing is and how to calculate it easily. Let's go! Boom! We back off in that thing. Now we understand why we even use Zulu time because we need that universal time coordination so everybody's on the same page, everybody's referencing the same time. Where exactly does Zulu time come from? All Zulu time is, is the exact local time of what's happening and what's popping off in Greenwich, England. And Greenwich, England is just a borough of London, just like the Bronx in Brooklyn or boroughs of NY. So that's all you got to understand is, of course, that's where the origin of where this comes from. And that's why the time that we're going to use worldwide and everyone is going to use to be able to calculate what time they're going to depart and what time they're going to arrive from a certain location. So everyone is using the same time reference. If you ever on your phone, whether you have an iPhone or an Android and you start playing around with setting the clock in the in the phone, you're going to understand that you're going to have something like a Zulu time reference in there. You're going to have something that says either GMT, which is Greenwich, England time, or you're going to have something like universal time calculated. These are all universal times to kind of understand exactly what your local time is, wherever you are. Hey, if you're down in Florida, if you're in Brazil, if you wherever you are, and then boom, what is that universal time coordinated right there? But how can you easily calculate that thing if you're getting ready to do a flight plan or someone throws a Zulu time at you and you're trying to understand exactly, of course, what does that mean for the local time that I am and how can I go back and forth between the two? Let's run that thing. Boom! So to calculate Zulu time, it's really an easy three-step process. And quite candidly, it can be a two-step process and you can eliminate one of the steps if you do one easy thing. So I explain the three steps to you and then I explain how you can skip a step and jump right to what you need. The first step is you want to convert whatever local time that you're in to 24 hour time, military time. And this is the step that you can easily skip if from now on out you just start to set all of your clocks to 24 hour clock instead of using regular standard time. So instead of using the 12 hour clock, just change the, the clock on your phone. Change the clocks in your house. Change the clocks around to be 24 hour time. So you're using military time constantly. So instead of saying three o'clock, you're already saying 1500. Instead of saying five o'clock, you're already saying 1700. And you're easily calculating that and you're becoming very familiar with that. So that way when you do your pilot calculations, Everything becomes normal to you because your watch is set a certain way, your phone is set a certain way, and you're already set to that time, and you don't have to convert anything. So if you start doing that on a regular basis every time you refer to the clock, then you can skip that step. But if you haven't done that step, that's the first thing you want to do. Um, here's a very easy way. If you're really having trouble like understanding military time or in Trump want to convert to the 24 o'clock, very easy way to understand it. Everything before 12 noon. It's just simply the time that it is. So if you look at the clock on the 24 hour period and it says that it's 10 a.m., that's exactly what it is, it's 10 a.m. If it's 900, that's exactly what it is, it's 9 a.m. Anything past 12 noon, all you're gonna do is just add 12 to it, whatever number it is. So let's just say the regular standard clock says that it's two o'clock in the afternoon. You're gonna add 12 to it because it's past 12 noon, right? So if you add 12 to two, what do you get? $1,400. Let's just say it says that it's 5.30. You're going to add 12 to 5.30. If you add 12 to it, what you're going to get? You're going to get 17.30. So all you're doing is just simply that. Anything before 12 noon, whatever the clock reads, that's exactly what it is. Anything past 12 noon, you're just going to add the number 12 to it to calculate your 24-hour time or your military time. That's a nice, simple way if you don't want to skip step one and you want to keep all your clocks on the standard time. Let's run that thing. Second step to calculating Zulu time, you gotta determine what season it is. Are you in standard time or are you in daylight savings time? 
Usually those summer months, you know when the time changes, in between March and November now that things have been adjusted, you understand that that's daylight savings time versus the winter time when you're in more of a standard time. So you need to understand what season it is. That's very easy. All you gotta do is just pay attention. Hey, okay, what month is it right now? It's June, it's July, it's August. We're right in the middle of daylight savings time. Or is we deep in the winter, in the part of winter, we're in more standard time. That's gonna be very important for when you look at your chart to know whether or not you're in standard time or daylight savings time. So the first two steps, easy money. Let go. Hey, and then the third and final step to calculate Zulu time, you're gonna to wanna to use a conversion chart. And you kinda of can be able to, once you, I show you this conversion chart, and you can take a picture of it, and you can also find, Google and find these conversion charts to Zulu time, anywhere on the internet and you can have that as part of your flight back you can also have that part of your flight plan and again we talk about how you can always bookmark things and have a notebook of information ready for you particularly when you get ready to take your oral exam or when you get ready to calculate your flight plan for your check ride and all that good stuff this is a very nice chart for you to have handy so you can run those calculations and you can also be very familiar with it. and i'll show you some easy little tricks of what you need to focus on and what you need to remember let's flip that thing flip it flip 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 like some flapjacks boom there it is this is the Zulu time chart that you want to familiarize yourself with and make sure you understand that conversion chart. And it's, read this, it's very simple. What you're going from to what you're going to. You're going from whatever your local time is and you're going to convert it to the two. And when you get to that two form, you're going to have your Zulu time. For example, this is broken out from the from section based on the time zones that you may be familiar with. Are you on Eastern time, Central time, Mountain time, or Pacific time? Where's your home base? Where do you fly out of? So let's just say, for example, you swinging and banging, you dipping that thing on the West Coast. So you in the Pacific area. Okay, so you're down in the Pacific area. We already talked about what season is it? It's daylight savings time. So just based on this chart alone, you automatically know you can ignore everything else. You're only going to use the Pacific daylight time. And it tells you if you convert Zulu time, you need to add seven hours to whatever it is. So that's all you're simply going to do. So if it tells you right now, that it is one o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock in the afternoon is what? 24 hour time. Remember, add 12 to it. So that means that it's 1300 hours, right? And to calculate Zulu time, you're gonna add seven hours. So seven to 13 is what? 20. Nice and simple. Boom! So what does that mean? That means that it's 2000 Zulu time or universal time. Nice and simple. Let's run another calculation. Let's say we were swinging and banging, dipping that thing down in Florida and we getting ready to depart and we want to determine what is our departure time in Zulu time. And currently right now in Florida, let's just say that it was 15.30 right now or 3.30 standard time. So 3.30 standard, but if you calculated the 24 hour time, it's 15.30 currently right now. We want to know what is 15.30 in Zulu time. So we already got our 24 hour. We know the season of course is daylight savings. We go, of course, East Coast. My peeps down in Florida on that Eastern stand, on that Eastern Daylight Time. We go across. It tells us we need to add four hours. Fifteen thirty plus four is what? Nineteen thirty. So it's nineteen thirty Universal Time or Zulu Time currently right now. When you get ready to boom, take that thing off in Florida. So you can understand how you're going to depart. If you know you're going to have a three-hour flight, it's already nineteen thirty. Then you add three hours to that. What the Universal Time is going to be when you land. Boom, 2130. Nice and simple. That's how you calculate that Zulu time. Understanding this chart and then putting your numbers together to be able to add something next to it. The easy way to kind of remember this chart, remember, more than likely, particularly at the private pilot level or just locally when you're flying and sliding and dipping around, you're gonna be flying near your home base most of the time. So think about where your home base is. Are you in Pacific? Are you in Central? Are you in Mountain? Are you in Eastern? And then all you got to remember basically is two numbers. That's all you got to say. Say you fly out of the central location. That's your home base. That's your home airport. And you get ready to calculate Zulu time. You automatically know. I'm just going to simply either add five hours or six hours, just depending on what season it is. So every time that I hear calculating 24 hours, I'm adding five or six, just depending on the season. Boom. Nice and simple. So you, you don't have to reference the other stuff since you're not dealing with that. Now, if you're zipping and zagging and swinging and banging that thing all over the country, you got to be familiar with each and everything on this chart. This is the easiest way for you to calculate Zulu time. 
Let's run that thing. Let's go! Don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, and this is Leadership Mindset, a place where you can come for free and fun videos about everything that you need to know for you to become a pilot. Because I want you to feel what pilots all over the world feel when we swing it and bang it that thing. Hey, let it do what it do, baby. Subscribe to the channel.